What will win in a drag race between a tuned Mark IV Toyota Supra and a Mazda RX-7, which isn't really that much of a Mazda RX-7 anymore? Well, we're going to find out by racing them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, Car Wow. Let me tell you about this Mark IV Supra, lent to me by Lee. Thank you very much, Lee. It's been tuned by a company called Whiffbits. And what we have here is a Mark IV Supra automatic, which has had its three litre straight six twin turbocharged engine modified by quite a lot. It doesn't have two turbos anymore, it has one. Also, it doesn't have the normal automatic gearbox from the Supra. It now has an eight speed ZF automatic gearbox from a BMW 530D. It's also got a trans brake, which locks the first gear in with reverse gear, so you can build up boost from the engine without actually going anywhere to get an amazing launch. That's the theory. You could just blow everything up though. We'll find out if that happens, because there is a lot of power coming out of this engine. 700 horsepower and 780 newton meters of torque. And this car weighs in about one and a half tons. In terms of the value, well, a base Mark IV Supra Auto, okay one, 40,000 pounds all the mods that have been added to this one, another £40,000. So this car is technically worth £80,000 if the owner wants to sell it or if someone wants to buy it for that. Anyway, let's find out about that Mazda RX-7, not a Mazda RX-7 thingy. Hey Sam, how are you? I'm very well, Matthew, how are you? I'm confused. I'm very confused about your car. Can you just explain to me exactly what the heck it is? I was very confused until the lovely owner, who's actually Sam as well, um, taught me all about it. So this is a 1983 RX-7, which is now a time attack car. So although it's an RX-7, it's got a Civic Type R engine with a turbo in it. It's got a Nissan 200SX running gear, rear diff, axles, um, steering rack. It's got a BMW 330D gearbox in it, but the ratios in a 330D are gonna be quite short. So it'll be interesting to see how to get this powered on. It's got 450 horsepower, but it only weighs about 840 kilos. So the power to weight in this is gonna be a bit brutal. So when you say it's got a Civic Type R engine, two liter obviously. Is it the originally naturally aspirated engine which is then turbocharged or is it the turbocharged Type R engine from the last two generations of Civic Type R? Can't remember, is it FKA? I don't know. No, I, I mean, I could be wrong. I believe this is the Civic Type R original two liter NA engine with a big old turbo bolted to it. Got it, got it, got it. So your car and my car have something in common. Guess what it is? They're like, hodgepodges of a really cool cars. More specific, and it's not the fact that they are both being driven by some extremely good looking men. Yeah, like I said, Sam wouldn't drive it, so I jumped in, so you're stuck with me, I'm afraid. Guess what the thing is that's the same? It's a feature of the cars that is the same. Uh, the turbo? The gearbox. I've also got a 530D gearbox. Yay, 530D gearbox. Now, I had a little peer into your window and that looks like an auto, so don't mislead the viewers. This is a manual 330D gearbox. You've got an auto. It might have paddles, it's auto. So yeah, you know, let's get this right. I feel a bit embarrassed now. But they're both from a 530D just... Anyway, I'll shut up. Shall we um, get on with the old sound check <laughs> instead? <laughs> Keeps on going. Uh, can you beat that? It's a no, isn't it? Yeah, I, I like the drama after your throttle application. It seems a bit more interesting. I think the flywheel in this is about the size of a 20p piece. Right, what we're going to do is floor our throttles together after three, two, one, and then honk your horn when you reach 7,000 RPM. Okay, see so who's got the lightest flywheel. Are you ready? Matt. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I couldn't do that properly. I actually pressed the horn while pressing the accelerator. It's like doing that thing where uh, you have to tap your head and rub your stomach. Let's do it the way around. Tap your head and rub, rub, rub your stomach. I can't do it. It's really sweet that you think I can sit in a time attack race car with the engine running and hear what you're saying. Well, that's the first bit. And the second bit, why would this car have a horn? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Let's move on. Let's, let, let's, let's race. <laughs> this is just a shambles. Oh. 
Now, before we do, if you're thinking about changing your car, you can do it through CarWow. So you can sell your current car through CarWow, just upload some photos, then dealers all across the country will bid on it in an online auction. That is completely free of charge, by the way. And then you can choose your next car through CarWow, be it new or used, and make sure you're paying a fair price by comparing different offers on those cars. And of course, you can research which is the right car for you by using all of our lovely editorial content. Now, if you want to do that now, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can go to CarWow at a later date by simply Googling help me CarWow. My team and I will help you change your car the easy way. Now let's race. Actually, before we do, I'm going to explain what I'm going to do because this has a trans brake. I put the car into drive, move it across into sports mode, I then pull up on the paddle, floor the throttle. I don't have to have my foot on the brake for this. And then I let the boost build and then I release the paddle and the car will just launch. And then I just do that to change gears, bobs. Okay, got it. Let's see if I can do it correctly. Sam, how was that for you? Say that again. Is it noisy in there? It is pretty noisy in here, yes. How was your launch? It was okay. It's, it'll be better when the tires are a bit hotter. I can do a bit better. I don't think you're catching me though, mate, but you can give it a go. I want one more go. A good launch there, but this thing is so quick. And this is proper 2JZ fun! That launches so well! What a great system! It's like consistent, consistent, consistent out of a Supra. Oh dear, your launch was good though. Really good launch. Yeah, this thing's just a bit crazy. It's really stiff. It's just trying to put the power down. The launch, it goes off the line well, but when the power kicks in, it's just spinning its wheels and trying to modulate that power is quite difficult. It's good fun though. It's good fun though. I'm not sure it's as good fun as winning though. Okay then, Sam, so that's two wins to this Supra. I'm not sure you're going to beat me, but I'd like to just give you another go just for the lols. No, if it's okay with you, I've got a theory. I would like something that's heavier and less powerful. Is that something we can do? Because I think I'm going to get some better traction with some more weight. So you're going for less power, but more weight. Are you mad? It's how I got my wife, so <laughs> let's see if it works. Okay, go get your car then. I wonder what Sam's going to get that has less power and more weight that he thinks can race against this and actually stand a chance. My note, Porsche 911. It's going for full on traction, isn't he? Sam, I see you have the least powerful Porsche 911 you can get. You've got a 911 Carrera T. I do, but it's a 911. And we all know they just make magic happen in these drags, don't they? I have a theory. It's got 65 less horsepower. It's just just under double the weight. But, you know, I've just got a feeling. So don't make my silly little brain have to do the maths. What is the exact power, torque and weight figures? So it's a three litre turbo, flat six. It's got 385 horsepower, 450 newton meters. So it's not bad. Rear wheel drive, six speed manual, which is nice to have one of these sticky things. At 1,470 kgs, so a heavy old thing. And it's 105,000 pounds. I actually don't know what the RX-7 costs, but I'm, I'm assuming this is a little bit more. Okay, so down on power, up on weight. I think you'll find that you've got seven speeds with your manual gearbox. Let's have a look, it's got a number seven. If I did use a cheat sheet, which I don't, I'd blame the person who gave me the cheat sheet, which I don't read. 
you said what you saw, didn't you? <laughs> no, it's a seven-speed manual. That is actually the slowest 911 to launch because it's the manual, not the auto, and it's got the base Carrera engine. And you think you're gonna stand a chance? Yeah, it's a Porsche. Porsches always win. Okay, we'll see then. We shall see. Had me off the line. <laughs> but this thing just flies. Amazing traction, really, considering. Uh, fairly conclusive. Yeah, but I did do better, right? You did do better, but. I've got way too much horsepower. I think we need to even things out a bit. I think you should jump out of that and go back into your other car and I'm going to turn the power down on mine because I can do that to make things a little bit fairer. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so I've had the power of my car turned down to about 600 horsepower. Give me a little bit of a chance, but let's see how we get on. Here we go. timing gear and that was the best time this car has done and that's proof that sometimes more power isn't necessarily more betterness anyway let me explain so then what exactly happened well the toyota won it completed the standing quarter mile in 11.6 seconds the porsche took 12.7 seconds and the mazda which is not really a mazda at all came last, crossing the line in 13.2 seconds. Now we're gonna have a rolling race and we're gonna do all three cars together. So it's gonna be a rolling race from 50 miles an hour in third gear to the half mile. I'm gonna get Sam to call it in because he can't hear me talk on the radio. So Sam, if you wanna lead us in, that would be great. Yeah, I'm good to go. So you get to 50 and then I'll, once we're at 50, then I'll call it in because I have no speedo. <laughs> okay. Three, two, what? <laughs> they are just off! Oh, I'm not even going to catch Sam! This thing done half shift. I don't know who won between you two. I won. This thing is mental. So the problem I'm having is because it's so light and powerful, I'm hitting patches of, of greasy areas and I'm just getting wheel spin. I'm trying to find a rev match to do that. But yeah, that's really fast, Matt. Yeah, and it's got anti-lag. I didn't even use anti-lag. I don't know if I want to use anti-lag because that was quite scary. Do you want to do it again, Sam, or are you just too scared? <laughs> No, we can go again if you want, but um, the outcome is not going to change. This will always beat the Porsche, I think, if I'm brave enough to keep my foot in. That's got double the horsepower of this. this it's never going to beat you there. Well, that's up then. Let's not do it again then, because it's all quite frightening. Let's do a brake test instead. Okay, now we're going to do a brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line full emergency stop. Here comes the line then. Come on, stop, stop. Uh, Sam, let me guess. Your car doesn't have ABS, does it? <laughs> no, no. What was the first clue? Uh, 
<laughs> it was only going past me at about 40 miles an hour. <laughs> Yeah, so we could brake a little bit better. Now, there's too much bias to the front, obviously, so it needs a little bit of bias to the back, but again, it's too greasy. These run pretty much slick tires, so I'm just not beating those two cars in these conditions. And Porsche did what Porsche does. Braked incredibly well, very impressed. And that's all he had to say on the matter. Huge thanks to the guys who've lent us these cars. There's the links and handles and Instagram stuff. They're just appearing on the screen. You can also follow them in the description. And as ever, if you're thinking about changing your car, do it through car out, dead easy, completely free of charge. Want to find out how to do that? Click on the pop out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, just Google help me car wow. We will help you change your car. So we'll help you sell your car, do it the easy way, completely free, and then help you get your next car at a fair price. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there to compare these cars quarter mile times to everything else we've ever drag raced. Thanks for watching.